episode 24 of the reading of Michael McCoy's Garden, 2nd of October 1998. It's been great fun planting up the woodland garden with plants I've loved and owned for many years but have never had a satisfactory home. In went the erythroniums, the trout lilies, the trillium ovatum, trillium cecile, the trillium grandiflorum, and the lesser but very charming trillium rivali. The huge pot of bloodroot, Sanguinaria canadensis, went in, along with the wood anemones that were in the same pot. The plain white, which seems to hold its flowers more upright than the pale blue ones elsewhere. Yet to shoot but with good root growth was the bizarre extraterrestrial flowering Paris polyphylla, and the arguably ugly but nevertheless desirable Aracema costatum. The label, cut from a margarine container that came along with this gift, says that it grows into a great slug six inches long. And it sure did, and just as ugly as one of those disgusting great tiger slugs that a friend used to find feeding at his cat's bowl indoors. Not far away, I planted my reasonably substantial plant of Glaucidium palmatum, given as the only division of a friend's precious plant who was afraid he might lose it. After four or five years, it flowered with its weak mauve hellebore-like flowers. Fairly unimpressed, I asked the visiting expert if the flowers of her plant were a better colour. Flowers, she exclaimed. Nobody here has flowered it and ran to have a look. As you'd expect, it hasn't flowered since. And having divided mine this year to give a bit away, it probably won't again for ages. Always needing to find a reason for such successes or failures, one usually comes up with some lame excuse why it did for you and not for others. In the case of the Glaucidium, we put it down to altitude, as our plants flowered at 900 metres, when the few other plants known were in the Dandenongs, no higher than 600 metres. But we really wouldn't have a clue, and the number of variables, including humidity, rainfall, aspect, soil conditions, etc., is almost infinite. It's so lovely to recall those days of growing those really special woodland plants. Plants that love really deep, rich soil, moist soils, you know. Where I am now, it's uh, much drier. I don't have much shade and I have no supplementary wood at all. I'm only on tanks and I've got nothing to, the give, to give to the garden. So I've had to farewell those plants, uh, but Golly, I love growing them and I hope one day I'll get the chance to do so again.